Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mark here from Bluemu, and in today's video, we're gonna dive into the world of machine learning, and um, more specifically, the tools you need to you know, actually do machine learning. Because let's be real, having the right equipment is like essential in this field. Now, machine learning isn't exactly a, a walk in the park, right? It's super resource intensive, and it requires, well, a pretty beefy laptop. So if you're planning to develop those, you know, complex algorithms or you're dabbling in data science, you got to have a laptop that won't, you know, just give up on you when you're running those intensive tasks. So I've put together a list of the best laptops out there for machine learning. We're talking um, high-end CPUs, top-of-the-line GPUs, boatloads of RAM, and yeah, lightning-fast storage, because nobody likes to sit around waiting for their code to compile, am I right? And um, just before we jump in, I want to remind you that if any of these laptops catch your eye or you want to, you know, get more details, every single one that I mention is linked down below in the description. You can find all the specs, prices, and where to buy them right there. All right, let's get to it and find you a laptop that's as ready for machine learning as you are. Let's jump into the list. So uh, today we're going to dive into the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. Now this laptop, it's pretty much a powerhouse for those who are into machine learning and data crunching, right? Under the hood, it's got an AMD Ryzen 9 processor and uh, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 graphics card. These specs, they give you a ton of muscle to handle complex data sets and resource-intensive algorithms, you know, without breaking a sweat. One thing I really dig about this machine is the display. It's, um, it's not only sharp, but it's got 120 hertz refresh rate, which is like super smooth, which isn't a must have for machine learning, sure, but it's nice when you're kicking back with some gaming too. Another thing to mention is the portability. For a laptop this powerful, the G14 is actually pretty light and compact. You're looking at what, just over three and a half pounds? So um, taking it around to classes or meetups, it's not gonna be a pain. The battery life, it's decent can clock around uh, 10 hours depending on how hard you're pushing it, which is kind of impressive for a gaming laptop. But um, yeah, not everything's perfect, right? The fans can get a bit loud and there's no webcam, kinda odd, but if you're just gonna use it for machine learning and maybe some games, that might not be a big deal to you. Overall though, the ROG Zephyrus G14, it's a solid choice for both its performance and portability. Uh, if you're a machine learning enthusiast, it's definitely worth considering. All right, so when you're diving into the world of machine learning, you're going to want a laptop that truly packs a punch, right? And um, the Dell XPS 15 9500, this guy is a serious contender. Now, one of the big pluses here is the display. We're talking about a 15.6 inch screen with up to a 4K resolution. That means you get incredibly sharp visuals, which um, is super nice when you're staring at data sets all day or just analyzing graphs. Now, under the hood, the XPS 15's performance is, it's no joke. You've got up to a 10th gen Intel Core i7 processor, or you can even opt for the i9 if you really need that extra oomph. And then there's the GPU, which is a, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Ti. Now that's not the absolute latest in graphics cards, but it's definitely solid for machine learning tasks, right? Plus, you can get this thing with up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and like a one terabyte SSD, which is more than enough for most of the workloads you'll throw at it. Battery life is another big win here. I mean, nothing's more annoying than being tethered to an outlet all the time, especially when you're in the zone coding and don't want any interruptions. And the XPS 15, it does a decent job giving you somewhere around 8 to 10 hours depending on your usage, which, um, that's pretty impressive for a powerhouse like this. Look, overall, the Dell XPS 15 9500, it's got that premium build quality, the specs to handle demanding tasks, and the endurance for long sessions, which makes it a solid choice for machine learning purposes. So if you're diving into machine learning, you're probably looking for something that's got some real oomph, right? Um, well, let's talk about the Acer Predator Triton 500. First off, this beast has the power you need. It's packing an Intel Core i7, up to a 10th gen as of my last check, and RTX 2080 Super Max Q graphics. 
What does that mean for machine learning? It translates to pretty darn quick processing and the ability to handle complex algorithms without, you know, having a meltdown. Now, RAM and storage are crucial too, and the Triton doesn't skimp on those. You're looking at up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and with the NVMe SSDs in RAID 0 configuration, the speed is just wicked fast. But here's the thing. Machine learning models can eat up space like nobody's business. So make sure to pick a configuration that gives you plenty of room to grow, or um, plan for an external storage solution, right? And uh, thermal performance, right? Because nobody wants a laptop that sounds like it's about to take off. The Triton 500 actually manages heat pretty well with its three-fan cooling system, which is super important when you're running intensive tasks for long periods. The keyboard, it's got per-key RGB lighting, which is kind of cool, but let's be real, it's not a game changer for machine learning. The key takeaway, the Triton 500 is a solid choice, not just for gaming, but for handling heavy-duty machine learning tasks. Just, um, prepare your wallet, because all that power comes at a premium price. So, um, getting right into it, the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 3 is pretty impressive, especially when we're talking about machine learning tasks which, you know, tend to be super resource intensive. What's great about this machine is under the hood, it comes packed with up to 10th gen Intel Core or Xeon processors, which is, you know, that's some serious horsepower right there. Plus, there's NVIDIA Quadro graphics, which is a big deal because those are pro-grade GPUs and they can really handle the heavy lifting for machine learning algorithms and uh, data processing and stuff like that. One thing that's um, kind of key for machine learning is having plenty of RAM, which this ThinkPad doesn't skimp on. It can support up to like 64 gigabytes of memory, which is, I mean, it's massive, right? So you can run multiple large data sets without your system taking a nap on you. Storage-wise, you're looking at up to 4 terabytes, which is more than enough for vast amounts of data. Also, since speed's crucial, it's got these super-fast PCIe SSDs, so you're not wasting time waiting for file transfers and loading, because that really adds up. Um, and yeah, the build quality, typical of ThinkPads, it's solid, which makes it reliable. And when you're running models and algorithms nonstop, reliability is like non-negotiable. You're getting this robust, um, military-grade tested chassis that can take a beating. Not that you're gonna throw it around, but you know, it's good to have that peace of mind. The keyboard, super comfortable for coding marathons, and the 15.6-inch display with optional 4K OLED panel, absolutely stunning for visualizing data. It's a bit on the hefty side compared to some Ultrabooks, but hey, when you need this much power, it's a fair trade-off. So all in all, it's a real beast for anyone into machine learning, for sure. All right, folks, so that about wraps up this deep dive into the best laptops for machine learning. Um. If any of these powerful machines caught your eye, I mean, they're pretty awesome, aren't they? You can find links right down there in the description. Yeah, right below the video. And hey, if you've got any questions, or if there's a laptop you think I missed, um, let me know down in the comments. I love hearing what you guys think, and, you know, also learning from you guys, because uh, it's all about sharing knowledge, right? Now, if you like this video, do hit that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, you might want to subscribe to the channel. That way, um, you won't miss out on any of the latest tech reviews, tips, and all that good stuff I put out for you. And speaking of, don't forget to check out my other videos too. There's a lot more where this came from. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right, take care.